Hello everyone! Patch 7.2 added quest lines to unlock the new traits for your artifact, which is obtainable after getting 35 traits in your weapon. While we do focus our efforts on Assault in the Broken Shore and the Tomb of Sargeras, we must be careful to guard against other threats as well. We've been getting disturbing reports on the Legion starting or supporting indirect threats to Azeroth. While fighting against the Legion, we must keep an eye out for strange objects or intelligence that could give us a clue as to what these threats are. We find a mysterious runebound scroll on the corpse of our enemy, which confirms our concerns about indirect legion threats. It's time to discuss this with the Council of Six in Dalaran. Without you, as Come. I think this is a matter best discussed privately. Damn it! Another attack. Stay alert! Upstairs in the parlor, we find dead demons on the floor and an unconscious Conjurer Winehouse. She'll be okay though. The demon didn't hang around long enough to finish the job, and the ill tidings that we bear, it only increases the concerns that the council's been having. We have our hands full with the Tomb of Sargeras, which is our top priority, but we must not think that the Legion is foolish enough to rely on brute force alone. As you can see, the Legion's reach still extends beyond the Broken Shore. Their agents lurk across Azeroth, threatening to subvert our efforts at the tomb. They are some of the Legion's most powerful champions. If the plans of these fiends come to fruition, all our efforts, all our sacrifices, will have been for naught. Much has been asked of you in the course of this war, Champion. I fear even more is needed. We must enlist your help to hunt these targets down. You may be the only one with any chance of stopping them. So what do you say? Up for a challenge? Excellent. I can think of no one better suited to the task. We stand ready to inform you about all known threats. This questline, to my knowledge, is available for all the tanks, meaning Blood Death Knights, Vengeance Demon Hunter, Guardian Druids, Brewmaster Monk, Protection Paladin, and Protection Warrior. We're not alone in uncovering the Legion's plots outside of the Broker Shore, as the Demon Hunter Korvas Bloodthorn, she's taken to patrolling the streets to find the source behind the recent attacks. We're sent out to find her within the streets of Dalaran. The bank? How could... <laughs> Die in Illidan's name! Lord Vazun has broken into the bank, and after probing the survivors for information and being swindled out of 10 gold by Glatonia, we find out that they took something out of the vault that looked very much like a heart. The heart of High Lord Cruel. Not good. High Lord Cruel, he was part of the Dark Portal opening event in which he showed up in a couple of major cities around Azeroth and also a few outdoor areas. In the Illidan novel, we read more about Cruel setting a trap for Illidan and his demon hunters, a trap which they were only able to escape because they underestimated Illidan's power. The Dark Portal eventually reopened and Azeroth's forces, they made their way into Outland, fighting for every piece of land. High Lord Cruel was ready to flank the forces in a surprise assault, an attack that could have meant the annihilation of our forces, was it not for Illidan and his Illidari. They took on Cruel, Illidan weaving a massive spell, while his demon hunters they distracted the demons, and his power was enough to blast the demon's heart out of his chest and send them back to the Twisting Nether. Now they've stolen the heart, with, as Korvas suspects, the intent of speeding up Cruel's resurrection within the Twisting Nether. Only Prophet Velen can tell us for sure though, so we go out to find him. If we don't meet again, Again, die well. During our imprisonment, the Kirin Tor locked Cruel's heart away in Dalaran's vaults to prevent it from falling into Legion hands. Prophet Velen spends much time tending the wounded. We should start in the first aid building. We just missed the Prophet as he was headed for Cress's landing, muttering something about the tomb. We should go to the landing before we miss him again. After you. It seems fate has conspired to bring us together once more. Hi, Lord. Will you join our cause? I came here to peer into the void above the tomb, searching for answers to a question I did not know. I feel a dark force in the distance, 
just inside the twisting nether. Let us see what lies behind the veil. Show yourself, demon. You cannot hide from the light. Hide? <laughs> you have grown delusional in your age, prophet. Soon your pathetic world will learn firsthand the wrath of Kroll! So it is true. The High Lord returns. Our fears have been confirmed. Gru is indeed coming back, and he must not be allowed entrance into this world. He boasts of damnation, but his powers had not yet fully manifested, so there is still time to strike back. We must go to the place of Gru's fall at the stairs of destiny in Outlands, where the link to his soul is strongest. There, we must pry open the way to his realm, while Velen prepares for the battle to come. Not May fate favor you. Cruel's minions will surely flock to his aid. It appears Cruel's lackeys were just here. I should be able to reactivate their portal. This place teems with usable souls. Death. Keep your wits about you. I doubt we'll be alone for long. The enemy approaches. You dare stand at the gate to my realm. So be it. Watch out! More incoming! With every moment, my power grows. Your end is nigh. Almost there. Keep it up. Finish them, Basoon. My rebirth is nearly complete. The portal is complete. I am with you. Is this all your world could muster? Pathetic. For Kroll! For the Burning Legion! You test my patience! Die, Cretan! You walk into your own death. Fazun and his minions are taken care of easily enough, but we must strike at Kroll himself before he reaches full strength. Corvus will send word once the portal is stabilized, while we inform the Kid and Tor of Vazun's death and of Cruel's return. Trust I will ensure no more of Cruel's minions make it through. Suffer well. Cruel returns? We must prepare an assault on the demon's lair. Carlane, please ensure the Illidari are given all the supplies we can spare. Thank you, hero. You have bought valuable time to deal with this threat. Our heroic deeds, it merits more than mere recognition. The council wants to reward our heroism in the face of such darkness with a portion of their power. Step back and raise your weapon. We will infuse it with a portion of this council's power. I will power. scout ahead and see what I can find near this tomb. Find me at the broken shore. Farewell. Our power manifests. Kirin Valtarel, Amshala, Azakim! Together, we must all lend our strength. The Legion sought to use its agents to subvert our efforts at the Tomb of Sargeras. Thanks to your efforts, they failed. Now, we focus on driving their armies from Azeroth. We will give everything we have and finish this, once and for all. Well met. High Lord, once again you have fought to safeguard Azeroth's future. On behalf of the entire Council, thank you.
This is where the story to unlock our trade ends, but Kru is still out there and with the mage tower built up on the broken shore, we can make our way into the twisting nether to try and stop the high lord before it's too late. The prophet has prepared his incantations and I have meditated long enough. Cruel must die. Upon your arrival, we will reopen the portal to the demon's domain and finish him, once and for all. This mage will teleport you to us. The task ahead will not be easy. Be prepared. Light bless you. Arrogant fools! I am empowered by the souls of a thousand conquered worlds. Even a fraction of my power will be enough to destroy you. Not so fast! Ah! <sighs> Varus, dispose of this rabble! With pleasure, my lord! This is where the true challenge begins, and you actually require a bit of gear and skill with the claws. Something that I'm lacking, so unfortunately I won't be finishing this quest myself. However, Nerfed on YouTube uploaded a video of their kill on this fight, a video which I'll link in the description down below. And as expected, they take down the Inquisitor, Cruel is forced to face us, he too falls over, but in his final moments he overloads himself, causing a massive explosion. Velen is able to shield us from harm and takes us to safety, as we wake up in a sick bay, but Cruel wasn't a fortunate, and considering that the demon is taken out within the Twisting Nether, he should be gone for good. That is how you unlock the specific skin for the artifact, and like I said, if you want to see the full fight, check out the video in the description down below. Which means that we've reached the end of the video, so thank you very much for watching everyone, subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time guys, see ya!